Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to make Japanese souffle pancakes. I would love to visit Japan someday and try all their yummy foods, including this souffle pancake. You know, that's the dream. But for now, let's just make it in my kitchen. In a large bowl, add two egg yolks, three tablespoons of milk, and two teaspoons of vegetable oil. If you guys want the full recipe, you can check it out in the description box below and you can also find it at the end of this video. Now we're going to add 1 4 teaspoon of vanilla essence and we're going to continue mixing until it becomes light and foamy. Now it's time to sift the flour and whisk it until the mixture is fully combined. We're going to set this one aside. In another bowl, we're going to add 3 egg whites and 1 teaspoon of white vinegar. I'm using an electric mixer to beat the mixture. As you can see, bubbles are starting to form, so we're going to add the sugar gradually. Continue mixing until medium to stiff peak forms. Basically, you know it's ready when you lift the whisk and it forms a peak that flops over the top while still holding its shape, like this. Grab the egg yolk mixture that we set aside. Now we're going to gently fold in half of the white mixture into the yellow mixture. I'm using a whisk here but you can also use a spatula so we don't deflate our egg whites while doing this. Fold in the rest of the egg white mixture. And remember, don't overmix it, just until it's combined. Now we're good! Transfer the batter into a piping bag or a Ziploc bag. But don't worry, if you don't have any, you can use a small cup or a spoon to scoop out the batter onto the pan. When I make pancakes, I usually put some oil on a paper towel and grease the pan so it's not too oily. Then I turn it on to low heat. Wait for the pan to heat up, it usually takes around 5 minutes. Now it's hot so I'm going to pipe out the batter. It's better to pipe a smaller pancake because it's going to expand eventually and we're going to add more on top later anyway. But for now, let's cover the pan completely and leave it to cook for 2 minutes. After 2 minutes, add more batter on top to get that fluffier pancake. And add around 2 teaspoons of water on the pan to help the pancake cook. After 2 minutes, the bottom side of the pancake should be cooked now. So we're gonna flip it. Cook the other side for another 3 minutes. Oh, look at that chubby, fluffy pancake. You can add any toppings you fancy like butter, maple syrup, or fresh fruits. But the pancake itself is so yummy already. It's best to eat right after cooking because it's really nice and warm. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one. Take care.